Hello Rev Crew. Welcome to Wednesday, December 2nd. Got a good workout for you. We're going to start with a programmed warm up today instead of leaving you on your own for that. I have 10 minutes or less to keep working through one inchworm. I'd like you to do the push up on that inchworm. 10 squat shuffles. I'll show you those right now. 5 RDLs. 6 figure 4 squats. Remember, you can hang on to something for balance when you do these if you need. 40 steps bear crawl, stopping every four steps to do a push up. All right, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, stop and do a push up. And then 100 jump ropes, or if you're not going to jump today, um, sub in something for about a minute of cardio there. Going up and down your stairs, if you have any kind of cardio machine at your house, if you have a um, happen to have a bike trainer, whatever it is, about a minute cardio. No more than 10 minutes on that warm up. Uh, then take a little time to stretch, whatever needs stretching. And we're going to get into workout one glute focus. Workout one is two rounds 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So it's going to be quick, and short, and simple. We have 30 seconds of banded side steps. Alright, so you're going to get into a quarter squat position. And really stay focused on keeping your core engaged as you step side to side. Then 30 seconds rest and then you're into 30 seconds of clamshells on your left side. You're gonna lie on your side, get your body into a slight C shape. You shouldn't be totally straight to do this. All right? And then you're going to lift apart your knees while you keep your feet together. 30 seconds rest, do the same thing on the other side. And then, last but not least, more banded glute bridges today, 30 seconds work. All right. If you want to get more range of motion on those banded glute bridges, you can elevate your feet. You can even use your wall. You don't have to have um, a box or a chair to put your feet on. You can put your feet right up on the wall. Okay, so two rounds of that. That's workout one. Workout two is five rounds today of 40 jump ropes. Um, or 40 seconds cardio. Whatever you want to do there, you can rotate it. Again, don't get that overuse injury from doing the same thing for cardio all the time. Be creative. I want your body moving. I want you to be breathing hard when you're done with those 40 seconds. If you're doing the 40 jump ropes and you want to work double unders, don't go more than 40 seconds there. Then 30 front rack march steps. Okay, the further out in front of you you keep your weight, the harder it's going to be and the more it's going to engage your core. You can do these standing in place or moving. If you want to do them standing in place and have a challenge, lift your legs and hold for a second and then move on to the other side. Kettlebell or dumbbell deadlift or slam ball, whatever it is you have at home. We're going to do some deadlifts. 10 snatches or slam balls. Okay, so you can do five on the right, five on the left or alternate your snatches. Obviously with your slam ball, I want you to use two hands at the same time. 10 reps total. You're gonna rest one to two minutes. I'm giving you that window of rest so that you can rest until you feel like you're ready to go hard again. Okay, when you go through this, I don't want you to be taking it easy, taking 20 seconds in between your march and your deadlift. I want you to go hard all the way through the round. So if you need two minutes between, take it. All right, gang. That's what I've got for you today. Enjoy your workout. I look forward to seeing you soon. As always, reach out if you have questions or you need some movement substitutions.